morning. Thank you for calling home too. This is Kita. How may I help you? Is the general manager in? That would be me. Hi, Kita. This is Kurt Kelly. Hi. Um, can you explain where my money's at and all the other stuff from my room that you guys didn't put in storage? Everything that we had was put into those That's bags. not true because I'm missing all kinds of supplies. I had food. I had liquids. Well, the food, we didn't know how long you were going to be gone. So, of course, the food was not put in those bags. Okay, but there was also, there was, there was other liquids in the refrigerator. Uh, and no, I'm missing hundreds, room. hundreds of dollars. Kelly, I'm missing Kelly, hundreds of dollars. Mr. Kelly, yes? that room was a complete mess. It was a nightmare. Not to mention the fact that you smoked in that room and we're a non-smoking property. So in all honesty, you're lucky we didn't charge you a lot more. Well, you got to be honest that I'm going to sue you in federal court if you don't find my money in the missing stuff because you stole well, from me. Well, we're going to have to we, we literally put everything... No, in you didn't. Bag. I'm missing money. Your people were but there I when I went through the bags. Ask. Your people were there when yeah, we looked and there was no money there at all. I had people in that room with me. Well, there where did they people. put the money, ma'am? We right where did you put together. the money? We put everything in the bag. Where did the money get put? The the, the money? In the plastic bags. Well, no, it the was not there, ma'am. When, when your hotel people took me back there, I opened it in front of them. There was no money in the computer bag. I showed them where you guys said it was put. Okay, Mr. Kelly, there's absolutely nothing that I can do about it. Well, if you don't okay. give me my money, you everything. stole in a federal investigation, and somebody created a lie and breached my security. I was not arrested on charges that were held. In fact, they dismissed them because I didn't have drugs or dangerous weapons in the room, as somebody alleged. But you did. No, I didn't, ma'am. I had prescription medicine. other people that were in the room with me. Yeah. And, and what illegal there. drugs did I have in that room, ma'am? It was all prescription medication. Okay, well, we're not in a legal state, sir. What does that have to do with it? That it doesn't hold up here. It will hold up there that I had videotape of what was in the room before I was taken away and what I got when I got back. All right, well then go ahead and take us to court, sir. Well, but you tampered with federal funds. Those were given to me by the U.S. government, so you tampered well, with I'm marked sorry money. About that, but we didn't do anything but put everything in those bags. Well, then where's the cash? Where's the cash, ma'am? In the bag. No, it wasn't. I have videotape of when I got to the hotel and went through the bags with your staff there's video that exists i videotaped my meeting with your staff so if you honestly think this will hold up in court you just lost and i'll make sure you get fired from hilton for criminally tampering in a federal investigation and then i'll sue you personally you have five hours to give me my money and my stuff You can tell your general manager that hanging up on me does not solve a federal lawsuit that she's about to get if she doesn't find my money and my stuff and get it to me in the next two hours. I'll sue you personally also, asshole. Thank you for calling Hilton Diamond Customer Care. To get started, please say or enter your Hilton. You'd like to speak with an agent, is that correct? Yes. If you would like to participate in a brief satisfaction survey at the end of the call, please stay on the line. Please hold while I get someone on the phone to help.
To ensure quality, this call may be monitored or recorded. Chantel, um, we have a serious problem and I need to speak with someone in your security department because somebody breached my security at a hotel, robbed my hotel room, made up lies, and I'm missing a lot of stuff. And if I don't get it back, there's going to be a major lawsuit. Uh, hold one sec, let me and you can reference it under Hilton's honor number. Are you ready? No, hold one second. Let me transfer to a representative who can assist you. If you pull up honors number 92548139, it would help us go with this much faster. Okay, can you verify your telephone number, please? Uh, number, new numbers I added in the past week or so are 310 924. 0455 would be one of the numbers. Do you see that? Yes, sir. How may I put you today? Uh, do you see the reservation at Home 2 uh, in Amarillo? Is it for a future stay or a past day? No, past day. In the past week. Or two. Yes, were you checked in on the second, out on the third? Uh, I didn't check out on the third. Um, I actually stayed, hang on, I'm pulling up a calendar, uh, I checked in on what date? Check in on the second, you're, um, speaking about the Homewood in Amarillo. No, right? no, I'm talking about Home 2. Home 2, um, okay. Where I checked in on the 5th and was checked out on the 8th. Of June? Yep. I'm not showing the home to this credit to your account. you have a confirmation number for this day? No, it was booked through Hilton Honors. It better be there. You guys even sent me res numbers. I'll have to dig up. One moment. Has somebody tampered with my account? No, sir. No one has tampered well, with Well, they your... obviously have if you're not showing that stay. Are you in the security department? No, sir, I'm not in the security department. What department are you in? I'm speaking with the corporate office right now. Okay, well, you need to find that reservation because I was robbed in that hotel room. Do you see that there's a note on the account, no one's supposed to make changes without my consent, and it's under an FBI and Federal Trade Commission investigation for identity theft and fraud? Being handled by the FBI in Los Angeles, do you see that or not? I just see no patients on your Okay, has somebody added or deleted a credit card recently? Do you see what I'm talking about or not? Yes, sir, I do. Just bear with me. It's a lot of notations I have to go through, okay? And you don't see that I was at home, too, in Amarillo on the 5th through the 8th? No, sir. Again, I'm not showing um, that stay added to your account. Okay, let me ask you this. Uh, do you see Melissa English listed on this profile? No, I'm not showing anyone else that's listed on this account. 
401k. What credit card are you showing on the account? Um, the credit card that's listed on this account is the Visa card. And what are the last four digits on it? 7152. Hang on, let me grab and it. Me ask you a question. Are you calling in specifically about your account, or is you calling because this is not customer care? Are you calling in specifically about your account? I'm calling in specifically because somebody tampered in my hotel room at that reservation, which you can't seem to find, and stole a lot of stuff out of my room that's missing, and hotel management has said, sue us. And they also breached my security. They were supposed to let no one know I was staying in the hotel. They let people know I was staying in the hotel, and it resulted in a false arrest and me spending several days in jail. And when I came back to claim my stuff from the hotel, they told me they didn't have it. But I have videotape that I had it and document from the U.S. government showing I had it before they pilfered my room. Yes, I no, there's no apology. There's going to be a major lawsuit if you guys don't find my stuff. It's that serious. And also at Homewood Suites, they fraudulently charge stuff to credit cards. Both of my stays at Hilton, the last two stays here in Amarillo, are going to be under a federal investigation unless I get my money back and everything that was stolen in the next few hours. It's very serious. I stayed at the Home 2 Suite. Okay, I do say I'm not showing that stay credit to your account. Whose account is it credited to? It's not credited to anyone. Why do you see the stay? And it's you see the stay. I do. I do see that it is a file that's open. Well, then why am I not credited for a stay where I was there? You guys were given this when you booked the reservation. Somebody's tampering with this account. They actually were not supposed to breach my security. I even listed the room under a different name, and no one was supposed to know I was there. And they informed police I was there and had me arrested under fraudulent charges. I ended up spending several days in jail, and it's now being expunged, but it's going to cost me $1,000 for the privilege of you guys screwing with me. Does the Visa card you have end in 0351? No, sir. I'm not sure what the Visa card is. How about, how about, how about, how about four, ma'am, let me finish my question. Let me finish my question. How about four, five, seven, four? What are the last four digits you show on the credit card? The visa card that's on this account, it is seven, one, five, two. Okay, so that was correct. And, okay, the reason why this state is not credit to your account, because again, this state was up on a different name. It was to receive credit for it say it has to be in your name it was in my name it was only on the reservation if somebody called the hotel that it was changed to edward james but it was under these this this number and should have been listed under the name just blocked at the front desk so if somebody called and asked for joseph cronin or kurt kelly they wouldn't acknowledge i was there but instead they did and I had police come into my room, arrest me in handcuffs with guns drawn because they told them that I had dangerous drugs and weapons in the room, which was absolute horseshit. I'm here cooperating on a federal investigation, and they blew my cover, and I ended up spending from the 8th until last night in a county jail and had to see several judges, attorneys, and prosecutors to show my innocence. In the meantime, hundreds of dollars that was given to me by the Treasury Department that was marked money in that room, I have video of it, was not there. And when I got back to claim my stuff, which was in a storage yard, I videotaped with hotel employees begging them to show me where the money was, and they told me I had to hurry up and leave the property or I'd be trespassed and the police would be showing up again. They threatened me, and so I had to get out of there. And when I got to the new hotel room, we tore everything apart. There's no money. There's all kinds of supplies, medicine, evidence, and a gear missing. And if it's not recovered in the next two to three hours, I'll raid your hotel with federal investigators. I want my money. I want my stuff back. And the hotel manager said, go ahead and sue me. 
So you need to contact that hotel manager and tell her to get me my shit back or I'll be suing corporate at Hilton and each of your hotels and everyone I've talked to who is tampered in a federal investigation. Then you also need to call Homewood Suites and tell that general manager to put the money back on the visa card that she was told was a federal government card and not to hit. She was to hit the other card and she hit both cards. And I have evidence she took money off the government card she was told not to tamper with. You guys have some very serious problems, and if you don't want the FBI raiding your world headquarters later today, you better get somebody on the phones, and they better be calling me back with the answers I want to hear in the next two hours at 310-924-0455, or I assure you I'll sue you also in federal court as a criminal obstructor of this investigation. This is not a joke. Make sure somebody fucking calls me from your security team, and you find my shit in the next two hours. Fucking assholes.